What's up, everyone? This is Tatum. I'm back with another episode of F This Review. And tonight, I'm reviewing the Nucleo Soul album, Two of Two, <laughs> Gold. If you want to watch my review to heaven, I'll put it up here. Cleo Soul dropped two albums, what, a week or two apart from each other, uh, just on some, like, fuck y'all. <laughs> like, like she doesn't, she seems like the most humblest, humblest? <laughs> she seems like the most humble person, and... Like, he's like, his two CDs <laughs> of like dope shit. You can't even say anything. Tonight, I'm talking about gold, uh, which I mentioned. <laughs> I was trying to think. Someone asked me, I was in conversation talking about these two albums. And someone asked me, like, do it. Someone who haven't heard the album asked me, like, does it sound like they both could have just been together and packaged as one album? And I was like, yeah, it could have. <laughs> It could have like on some double disc type shit, but I kind of like this release of the album because you know what was going to happen if she would have put uh, both sides together. Like it would have been like a long drawn out streaming experience. Like you probably wouldn't have got it. It probably would have just felt overbearing with like Cleo Soul music. So I think the separation of the two albums uh, made sense. The difference that I see from this album gold in heaven if heaven was the one that was like how can i put it like these are the steps to heal this one is like the healed of cleo soul she's healed like due to love from what my observation is of the album like to even start the album with there will be no crying the first words you hear even like the note of dun, 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 dun. If she sprinkled a little bit of gospel on that last one, Heaven, this one is like more in your face. Like her even doing the background vocals on here sounded more choir like. You know, she's done that before. Great vocalist. <laughs> but just the sound of it sounds very uh, gospel driven. Like I felt the God subject way more in this one. Reasons, things would get better. They gave me a, like a reggae feel to them, but I also got like. Lauren Hill vibes with those. Uh, one of my favorites, Love Can Only Wait, uh, which I think is just a beautiful song. Hold on, I think I wrote down, Love Can Only Wait reminds me of a classic baby face song from the 90s. Tony Braxton could have sung that, you know what I mean? That type of vein. That's a beautiful written song. Like if the first album, it was very jam session and this one bears those elements as well, but I think the songs are stronger on this one, on Gold. <laughs> that's just me listen to only love can wait like that's even that title have so much it's so much strength in that title that beat on lost angels oh, that shit is crazy <laughs> and that song is crazy too like again the songwriting that lost angels is dope the thing with cleo so and i'm probably get stoned for this but it's like she can she can cross on so many fields of just like inspiration like i can hear some Joni Mitchell, I can hear some Lauren Hill, I can hear some Amy, I can hear like some Erica, I can hear some, like I can hear all these elements in, in her artistry. I hope she keeps that essence, like it comes with like kind of being underground too, <laughs> but just keep that fucking essence, that shit is just dope. I love the fact of her learning to love, uh, finding love and learning to love in this album. Also, that love helping you to mature and heal. And like, that's just, that's just dope. Cause you know, a lot of people, you know, we have, everyone has some crazy lives, man. <laughs> like it's hard to find the one that, you know, like that you feel you could grow with and helps you mature and you help them mature and you help them grow. And it's like this great give and take. I love that aspect of this album, how she weaved that in there. <laughs> Please don't end it all. Uh, the choir stacking of the vocals again. I thought it was amazing. Desire also discussing that, finding that love and how that love helped you in your own home. That gave me like, Beyonce could have been singing that song as well. Uh, I love the production on there. Life Will Be, you couldn't tell me that doesn't sound like a Stevie Wonder record written on like fulfillingness. Uh, what is it, the, the first finale? Like it, the songwriting on that one is just, really really dope and that production and her vocal uh performance on there is just all around fucking 
just really really good and then to end it with gold <laughs> one of the craziest one of the best parts of these albums is that they're both so short like the first one was 30 minutes this one's probably like 45 if that 42 minutes it's not a long album um just really 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 good music um some of my favorites reason lost angel and life will be let me know in the comments what's your favorites <laughs> give me your three in conclusion uh you just got to give it up to cleo so for even dropping two albums on our head top <laughs> no 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 seriously you gotta give it up to her. you gotta give it up to her just from like like i said in the heaven uh review just someone willing to share their story to help with yours like to help heal you and it's not from a preachy standpoint it's still this is my life but like I, I learned something along the way that might can help the world like I said she has a gift uh, I hope she continues to use that gift for the deed of good and the deed of God like she's like and just love in general like do it for the deed of love <laughs> I appreciate that with her artistry because you don't get a lot of you don't get a lot of this you don't get a lot of people talking about how you know god is instrumental in their life in their music and how he helped them or find a new love or maturing past old love that was harmful for you rather that be uh parents friends spouse uh but finding being open enough to find new love and that love like actually being uh just supportive <laughs> like and understanding and like you don't get that message a lot you get like we can't stick together uh whether that be man and woman woman and woman man and man like we just we get i think what's pushed is like you're better off single you're better off you're better off alone you have so many things that you don't need somebody else and it's just good to hear like or it's more like what what can i get out of this person a lot of the music use love as a transaction so it's dope to hear what's well, amazing to hear someone like just be a real human <laughs> just be a real human like, like that's all you really want right so yeah let me know in the comments uh what some of your favorites from the gold album what did you think of gold compared to heaven um were you satisfied with both the releases yeah that's pretty much it don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to hit the subscribe button as always tatum peace